As I said, uh, this is the economy version from RCC SKJ, uh, distributed by Austral Models. Uh, as I uh, mentioned before, what you put in, if you were to put in anywhere between um, 4.8 to 13 volts, that is what you'll get at your receiver and also out to your servo. So you've got to be careful what type of battery you use. My suggestion would be that uh, you'd look at uh, something around about 4.8 to 6.6 .6 volts would be uh, suitable for, for use on one of these. Uh, like I said, it's an economy model and uh, that's why it's sort of structured that way. The other up, uh, uh, further models up uh, in the range have a few more features which uh, probably find a little bit more attractive for some of the other uh, models who require a little bit more with their aircraft. What you get with it is the actual power distribution box couple of uh, leads. There's actually two standard leads which have um, just like a, uh, a male to male connector and they also if you notice have a little Futaba tab or similar to what Futaba use on that, some of their leads. That tab actually goes into that section on your power board so you know where it is at all times so you, you can't mix up the polarities uh, while you're putting it in. Uh, the other end is just a standard JR and uh, that is uh, very suitable for uh, uh, just plugging into most of the other receivers that uh, are on the market. Even the Futaba you can uh, put it in there without a problem. You receive a switch, just a standard switch. There is an optional switch available which I'll show a little bit later on on some of the other units. Uh, the optional switch can be used with any of the power uh, distribution boxes without any problem but this is a standard switch and uh, would be more than suitable for uh, just general um, model, model operation. The other thing you have as well, with the, the way that these are set up, your power to your servos is already generated by the power distribution box. So all you need is something to power the uh, receiver, which would be this wire here. You plug it into number one outlet, that would power the uh, receiver unit. Then, after you've done that, you have just the signal lead. So when you look at the leads, when you were to pull them apart, you'll find it'll have three little ends on it. One end, three little ends uh, with a Futaba um, little uh, tab on, it, on there as well. And the idea being that all you're doing from the receiver is supplying a signal from the receiver to the power unit. The power unit then supplies voltage uh, out to your uh, servos to get them to do the work. As I said, there's another uh, lead in there as well. The idea being that uh, by having two in there, you're giving it a bit of dual redundancy. So th there's enough here to do eight model, eight um, functions on your uh, on your model. So you can operate uh, eight uh, servos on on your model, or eight um, outputs of, on your receiver. But what you can also do with the, this unit is set it up in such a way that uh, you can, instead of using wire leads, you've actually got. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Down the side there, and each one of those has another uh, set of plugs that you can uh, points that you can plug into. So you can effectively operate off this unit uh, 16 servos without any difficulty at all. Like I said, it's a pretty uh, basic unit, but uh, would do the job uh, more than satisfactory for uh, just general modelling. So long as you were careful with the battery that you chose and kept the voltage around about 4.8. Uh, up to uh, around about 6.6, .6, you'd be pretty safe on doing it that way.